Hi, welcome to your CSS tutorials. This is Lalo Khan, and today in this video, we're going to study the how can we implement the width and the height in our CSS. So before starting, let me, let me tell you one thing, that the width and the height is a CSS property that we can declare on the only inside the tag, like the, like in the inline page or inline tag, or it can be declared over the uh, inline page of the styling, and it can be declared even outside this page. So let's do it. Um, I have I have designed the paragraph over here, and here's the here's the title. So let's begin. That I'm going to, I'm going to call this like a class. The class name should be one or the first. Let me uh, later on I will save this. Now first of all, let me let me implement those old properties which I do have. Uh, I'm gonna call the first class. Let's do something new. The, like in the previous videos, in all those videos, I have created the class. So today we are going to class. Uh, we are going to call the ID. So here I am going to call my ID with the with the name of hash uh, ID. I'm going to call that. And oh, I'm sorry that so f so foolish I am. <laughs> like I don't mean. Uh, sorry, I, I I did a dumb thing. The the point was this: that the ID sh is the first. So uh, this hashtag means that the, we are calling the ID and we are going to call the name. So the first is the name of the ID. So let's let's declare the property, the width. The width should be of like 200 pixels and the height. Later on we will implement height. Let's do it first of all the width. I'm going to save it with the name of the width. The HTML. I'm going to save in the desktop. Um, here, here we go. So here I have. Let let me open this in browser. Uh, from there, here's the file. Let's open it. There you can see the width is just two hundred pixel. Now it's not clearly. I can see that you can't understand. Let me tell you with the border. If I will implement the border, then you can get the more better. The border should be of two pixels. Solid, and the color should be green. Now let's go back to our HTML page. Now I'm gonna reload, and you can see the border have been applied to it. So let's go back. Uh, here I have. Go I'm going to change this to 500. I'm gonna save and let's reload again. So finally, you can see the width is of 500 pixels. The rest of it is defined, and the rest of the whole page is empty. So let's go back, and I'm gonna show you a new thing in the width, which is a hundred. Person, like obviously, obviously when we when we discuss about the person, always it's come in our mind the person is like something which is the total, right? So here we can see the width that that we are taking like hundred pixels simply goes to mean in a sense of a hundred pixel a hundred pixel means the total width of the of your screen of your uh, of your like uh, of the whole whole, whole your uh, which are your uh, like it's tab it's a mobile screen or it's the laptop screen whatever you are using the it, the screen will be adjusted to the hundred percent so I hope you're getting now I'm gonna save it and gonna show you that's gonna happen so you can see. The here's the margin which we have not given, but it's by default the margin which we which is implemented in the in the libraries of the HTML. So you can see the hundred the hundred percent is the pixels or is the width of this uh, of this page. So let me let me do this. Let's let's do the experiment. So uh, let's do it of thousand not thousand. It should be a fifteen hundred pixels. Now I'm gonna save it. And go back to our HTML page. You can see the the scroll bar has been appeared. What does this mean? The horizontal scroll bar. This means that it's of fifteen hundred pixels. However, if you think that our then uh, generally or honestly, then our laptop or uh or like uh, a laptop or any tab or anything, uh, the screen of a laptop or a computer is just 1100 11 pixels, honestly. But here you can see that the screen go have been gone to 1500 pixels. Now I'm gonna increase it to like 2500 pixels. Now I'm gonna see that we have, we have done such a great thing. So now I'm gonna reload and you can see, whoa, it's amazing. You can see that we have been declared this to this. Now it's gonna increase. So let's let's do this to 50 pi 
50 person 50 let's now let's have a test or let's have a general dry run in our mind that what i i already told you about the 50 100 pixels that honestly are on a sp on this spot that 50 person will be equals to the half of the length of the of our screen of the laptop or our tab or mobile whatever you may say what are you using so here you can see it's a 50 per 50 percent we have been taken there this area is empty and this area has been spotted by this the the width of this section has been divided to the 50 percent of the screen so let's go back to our html page now i'm gonna give it a height um now i'm gonna give it a height the height should be like it should be of three not three it should be of 200 pixels now i'm gonna save and you can see what's gonna happen it's of 200 pixels for vertically like from there to here you can see the the high have been discovered to the 200 pixels now gonna gonna do one thing i'm gonna copy this whole paragraph inside the the wording inside the paragraph not the paragraph gonna gonna change it now i have i have written it multiple times gonna going back to my page and you can see the why what this happened because this because happened that we have given the height to just 200 pixels that's why it does happen now what if what if i remove the heading you can see now gonna save and here gonna reload you can see the height have been given to all over this section because we didn't mention anyone anywhere else to be like a uh, lot it should be uh not gonna do it of also 15 50 percent now I'm gonna see it will it will be divided to the half of the page. You can see I think the fifty percent means the fifty percent is going to be here, like half of the screen is here. So you can see this this is how the height and the width width what will work in our HTML page. So I hope you got it. If any query you can ask me in the disco in the DM or directly in my YouTube channel or my Instagram or my email or my mail, whatever you may like. So I hope you're getting it. Uh, see you in the next tutorial. Take care. Bye bye.